Bitcoin ATMs explode in popularity in 2023. You won't believe the astonishing numbers. According to the most recent statistics from Coin ATM Radar, the number of Bitcoin ATMs has significantly increased over the previous month, reaching a record high of over 35,000 active machines. The number of ATMs has significantly increased to 35,069 after lagging below 34,000 since March. The report also states that there were 33,389 Bitcoin ATMs in total in April, which is an almost two-year low. Despite the growth in the price of Bitcoin over that time, a fall is visible when comparing the statistics to December 2022, when the number of ATMs hit 39,000. According to Coin ATM radar data, 3,600 Bitcoin ATMs were unplugged globally in just March. I have put a lot of research on this video, so I highly recommend watching it in its entirety to ensure you don't miss out on any valuable information that can boost your crypto investments. However, please note that the content provided in this video is for informational purposes only, and should not be considered financial or investment advice. Welcome to Crypto Life Money your go-to-go -go source for the latest developments in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. I'm Melvin, your host, and on this channel, we'll be diving deep into the world of crypto, from the newest coins and tokens to the most exciting blockchain projects and developments. So, if you're ready to explore the world of digital currency and stay ahead of the game, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's dive into the world of crypto together. The coin ATM radar graph showed that the trend had been declining since December. With an increase of approximately 1,400 machines in May and an additional 278 in the first few days of June, this situation was, however, reversed. With its rapid and easy transactions, Bitcoin ATMs have grown in popularity as a handy way for consumers to purchase and sell Bitcoin using fiat money or credit cards. These devices are additionally a more private option to conventional exchanges because they often do not require Know Your Customer KYC, information. With over 30,000 ATMs placed within its borders, the United States has a commanding position in terms of the spread of ATMs around the globe, accounting for more than 85% of all machines now in use. Canada is the only other nation with more than 1,000 ATMs, Coin ATM Radar claims amassing over 2,745. With over 1,400 ATMs deployed throughout the continent, Europe comes in second, with Spain topping the list with 286 machines. In contrast, despite being the region's financial hub, the United Kingdom only has 16 ATMs operating. El Salvador is second on the number of Spanish speaker nations, after Spain, with 212 ATMs. Colombia and Puerto Rico round out the top five with 37 and 32 ATMs each, respectively, while Mexico comes in third with 52. Japan only has three ATMs built despite having legislation that are Bitcoin friendly, whereas Hong Kong leads Asia with 148 ATMs. Unsurprisingly, El Salvador has the most ATMs in Latin America with 272, having made Bitcoin legal money. The continent of Africa has the fewest Bitcoin ATMs, with South Africa leading the pack with 17 machines while regional powerhouse Nigeria just has two machines operating within its borders. Over the previous week, the price of Bitcoin has remained unchanged, with the top currency trading in some moments around the $28,500 barrier level. At the time of this video, the price of Bitcoin is $26,849, down 0.82% over the previous day. House Republicans intervene to end CFTC sec turf war in the cryptosphere. Republican senators presented a draft measure on Friday, putting cryptocurrency regulation front and center. Republicans Patrick McHenry and Glenn Thompson, two prominent Republicans, spearheaded the legislation that outlines their suggested framework for regulating digital assets. Although susceptible to changes in the upcoming weeks and months, this draft bill will have a big impact on how cryptocurrencies are regulated in the future. Establishing a distinct separation of duties between the top two U.S. financial authorities, the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, is a key component of the measure. The draft law offers details on the committee chairman proposed division of regulatory responsibility among these organizations. The goal of this division is to provide a thorough and unified regulatory framework for the sector. McHenry, the head of the House Committee on Financial Services, and Thompson, the head of the House Committee on Agriculture, 
both voice their displeasure with the way that digital currency regulation is now set up. They feel that these regulations impede innovation and fall short of offering sufficient consumer protection, according to the draft summary. In what the industry likes to refer to as a turf war, the discussion draft establishes a distinct separation of regulatory jurisdiction between the two primary U.S. financial regulators. The CFTC would be given specific power over digital currency commodities in the spot market under the proposed legislation, in conformity with current law. The SEC, on the other hand, would be in charge of overseeing digital asset securities. The proposed legislation includes clauses designed to increase market flexibility and accessibility. It expressly forbids the SEC from obstructing the listing of cryptocurrency securities on an alternative trading system, ATS. Furthermore, it mandates that the SEC change its regulations to permit broker-dealers to offer custody services for digital assets. These steps aim to improve market conditions for players and encourage more efficiency in the cryptocurrency sector. Crypto exchanges have been calling for regulatory clarification in the wake of massive enforcement efforts that forced cryptocurrency firms and developers to move operations outside of the United States. Although the McHenry and Thompson draft bill is still open to adjustments and additions, their proposal shows a commitment to addressing the current regulatory shortcomings with cryptocurrency. The measure has the ability to encourage innovation, strengthen consumer protection, and set more open norms for market actors working in the crypto space by addressing these flaws. Although the legislation procedure has not yet reached the formal introduction stage, the industry's early response on Friday afternoon was mostly favorable. Market players and cryptocurrency exchanges applauded the prospect of increased legal clarity since it might provide stability, make compliance easier, and promote the future expansion of the crypto industry. Coinbase sees artificial intelligence as a transformative force in the crypto sector. In the crypto industry, artificial intelligence, I, has the potential to be disruptive, according to Coinbase. One of the top cryptocurrency exchanges in the world, Coinbase, is aware of the profound influence that AI may have on altering how cryptocurrencies are used, comprehended, and controlled. The cryptocurrency exchange said in a Bloomberg article that AI is ready to revolutionize many facets of the crypto sector. David Duong, the head of research at Coinbase, emphasized the expanding potential for cooperation and new use cases within the domains of AI and blockchain in the company's most recent research paper, which Bloomberg was able to view. This development of blockchain and AI applications has the ability to upend several sectors while also providing answers to certain social problems that AI has brought about. One of the suggested use cases combines decentralized data marketplaces and generative AI. According to Duong, these markets can provide the need for the diversified and validated datasets needed to train generative AI models. These markets can offer a safe and open platform for data exchange by employing blockchain technology. The paper suggests that to improve the quality of supplied data, a token-based incentive system may be established inside these decentralized data marketplaces. According to Duong, this incentive structure would persuade data suppliers to deliver high-quality and trustworthy data which would ultimately help the generative AI models. The quality and integrity of the data transmitted on these networks may be preserved via the use of tokens as incentives or rewards. The synergistic combination of blockchain and AI offers a lot of promise as both technologies continue to develop. Blockchain technology can help AI systems overcome problems with data privacy, security, and trust. In addition, by combining the benefits of blockchain with AI, this partnership can speed up the creation of novel responses to a variety of societal problems. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed exploring the exciting world of Bitcoin and other digital currencies with us. We always strive to provide you with informative and engaging content. So, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop on all of our future releases. We also want to hear from you. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and opinions on the topics we discussed today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.